serve God around these parts. Uh, Alpha and Omega, he be finished before we start. Uh, the great I am, the one who let us know who we are. Uh, Christ the cardiologist created me a clean heart. Alright, so it looks like we are starting out showing you how dirty my brushes are. I think I've only cleaned them once this year. And this will be my second time. I don't use all of them, but... Anyway, the things I'm going to use are um, olive oil, uh, rubbing alcohol to disinfect, and soap. I've got some some um, Dawn dish, not Dawn, is it Dawn? In the cup, and then I have regular hand soap. All right, so my process is, uh, well, first I separate all the small brushes. I start with them, and then do the larger brushes. The larger brushes tend to be um, yuckier, full of foundation and stuff. Smaller ones just have eyeshadow and little stuff. All right, and so what you see is that little red Tupperware top. Um, I usually use a paper plate, just disposable stuff, but I was out of paper plates. Um, I poured some olive oil in there and I first dip the dry, dirty brush in the olive oil. And then I massage the brush to break up all of the gunk and the dirt and the yuckiness. Then I rinse it out with hot water. And then I um, take soap and massage that through to wash out the oil and all of the gunk. And for the most part, they come clean. Um, what I do is if the water is running dirty as I'm rinsing the brush, then I'll wash it again and I'll keep doing, um, you know, different rounds with soap until the water stops coming out dirty. Then I uh, kind of rub the brush, the t uh, tip of the brush on a paper towel like that. And if it makes the paper towel dirty, then I know I need to wash it again. And I keep doing that until the water runs clean and nothing is coming out on the paper towel. So it looks like I have gotten to my larger brushes. Again, I'm dipping in oil, massaging that in. To look at all that mud and yuckiness. Disgusting. Um, I think that brush is my bronzer brush. So it will be pretty dark. You can see the water running yucky and me using soap. I mostly used hand soap, but that um, Dawn dish detergent you know, it's supposed to be a pretty serious deal. So if I felt like I really needed some backup, then I would go in with the Dawn. I used um, the Dawn mostly with my foundation brushes toward the end. So anyway, just watch the water in the video and you'll see um, sometimes it's like mud and eventually it'll run clear. You just keep doing that as many times as you need to. There's no hurry here. I think that's my blush brush, so it's coming out a little red. Oh, also, um, the way brushes are made, you know, they're kind of glued. The tip where the brush is and the handle are glued together. And you don't want to hold your brushes under the water at an angle where you're just pouring water down or soap. I mean, yeah, you want to try to get close to the base um, with the soap and all that. But hold it at an angle where the water runs out. Um, that'll keep your brushes from falling apart. Uh, kind of like my fan brush fell apart as I was shaking it. I'll go in with some Gorilla Glue and put that back together. That was the blooper reel that you saw at the beginning and that you're about to see when I finish cleaning it here. So, um, if you can prevent oil and, um, soap and a bunch of water from getting up in there where it's glued together to the handle, uh, they'll stay, to, they'll stay together. Otherwise, you'll find yourself having to re-glue them or repurchase. See? I'm going to glue that because that's a really good brush. 
think I got it at TJ Maxx. When I say it's really good, I mean, it's not like super expensive, but it's good in quality. Oh yeah, I don't know what possessed me to use that white brush for foundation. I didn't like it for foundation, but I did use it a couple times as a foundation brush. And to be honest, when I finished cleaning that one, it did not look, you know, brand new like most of the others. And that's okay. That's okay. If you use a white brush <laughs> for your foundation, that will be the result. That's why most brushes, you know, aren't simply white bristles. Um, they know that they're, they'll get soiled. You see me using Dawn on that found foundation. Oh yeah, on that foundation. It got pretty clean, but I mean, visibly you could tell that it, you know, had been used, kind of stained. Now my, f oh, oh, you know what? I'm going to show you guys. See, when it comes out like that, you need to go another round. And I did. I just didn't show it on the tape I edited. So now I've moved on to my favorite brushes, the round brushes. Those things are so soft and they feel so good massaging the foundation on your skin it just is wonderful but they hold product like nobody's business if you're looking at if you noticed um the water with a lot of these brushes you'll see it looks like chunks of dirt falling out as well so these brushes really hold stuff so you gotta gotta clean them on a regular basis if you're using them on a regular basis people This process really isn't difficult. It's really not that time consuming unless you have a whole lot of brushes. A lot of times I use disposable sponges. Look at that water. Ew. A lot of times I use disposable brushes um, or sponges rather. Or um, those eyeshadow applicators. I like to throw stuff away. I don't like to be having to wash a whole gang of stuff. And, 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 you know, as much you know, as washing them as getting them clean and I'm going to spray them with alcohol at the end. Listen, I don't share my makeup brushes like this stuff ain't clean, clean for real. Not like to be sharing with other people in community and stuff. No, when I do someone's makeup for like my makeover videos, I use their stuff. If they don't have the stuff that I want, then I buy stuff to use on them. I don't clean my makeup brushes and use them on other people that is not legit use your stuff for you and use their stuff for them and if they don't have then they can buy most of my brushes are elf brushes they cost about between a dollar and three dollars got a set at tj maxx um i think those round brushes i got from dollar general for like three dollars or 350 and they all work really well so word to the wise I could have edited out me cleaning my sink but I wanted to make a point don't clean your brushes and have all that gunk in your sink and then walk away and say you'll come back to it later look look I just poured that dawn on there took a disinfectant wipe and wipe my sink down this is not that difficult it's definitely necessary after going through the process of you know cleaning these brushes and getting all that gunk don't leave mud in your sink. That's gross. All right. And after wiping my sink down, I took that little spray bottle of alcohol. I think it's only 50% alcohol, but it's all good. And uh, spray them down as disinfectant and let them air dry. And then we'll do this process again as needed in another week or two. Just washing my hands and where's the alcohol? There it is. And when that bottle's empty, I'll just refill it with 70% alcohol. I also spray my eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that after you know, and stuff gets old and it's just sitting. You know, that stuff needs to be disinfected too. So there you have it, people. Most of those brushes came clean like new. Some didn't, but, but they're clean for use again. So thank you for watching.